Welcome back to my channel. My name is Britt and I make videos about books and reading and illustrating and in this cozy vlog I'm just going to take you along with me for a couple of days to show you what I'm reading and what I'm doing because it's Sunday morning right now or well it's nearly noon and I honestly had the most cozy morning because I woke up quite early and then I decided to continue baking my bread because yesterday I started with a dough and I just let it rise all night in the fridge and this morning I could bake it so I could have some lovely homemade bread for breakfast and whilst doing that I was reading a new book that I started yesterday namely Stoner by Don Williams. I have heard amazing things about this book and it's been on my TBR on my shelf for quite some time but I finally decided to pick it up. It's about a man named William Stoner who goes to university at 19 to study agriculture. However, he becomes a teacher later in English literature because he's much more interested in English literature. It says that his life is quiet and after his death, his colleagues remember him rarely. Yet with truthfulness, compassion and intense power, this novel uncovers a story of universal value. Stoner tells of the conflicts, defeats and victories of the human race that pass unrecovered by history and reclaims the significance of an individual life. Apparently this is just supposed to be incredibly beautiful and inspiring maybe? I'm really excited to continue reading this one. I'm currently on page 32. I read a bit this morning whilst just having my coffee and whilst the bread was in the oven. It turned out quite well. It's not my best bread yet, but I'm working on it. I think I've baked like 10 breads in my life, but I'm still kind of figuring out the right way to knead it. And also my oven isn't the greatest. So I'm just having fun with this and I'm just, you know, trying out new things, but it's super tasty, especially if you put it in the toaster. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have some toasted bread. Today, I just had some untoasted bread that I just cut because it was still like fresh and warm. <gasps> it was so good. Then I'm also reading two other books at the same time, one ebook and one audiobook. The ebook that I'm reading is Ian Pierce Arcadia, which also has been on my shelf for years now. And this is kind of a magical book about three different intertwining worlds. First is Enter World, is a sun-drenched land of storytellers and prophecies. But is this world real? And then we also have a rebellious scientist who's trying to prove that time does not even exist and there are three worlds they come together one question arises who controls the future and who controls the past I'm enjoying this one lots I've only read like 10% because it's quite big but I am so intrigued by this book and I can't wait to continue reading because I often read on my kindle when I'm on public transport so I'm already excited for like tomorrow when I'll be going on the train again to read some more of this book so let me know in the comments if you have read this or if you have heard of this book because I haven't really seen it around much on YouTube or anywhere else on the internet. And the last book is a book that I'm listening to. It's 21 Lessons for the 21st Century, written by Yuval Noah Harari. This is the third book in the Sapiens trilogy, which is all about humans and the world and the past and the future and kind of like technological things and in the future and how AI is going to change the world and all of these type of things. The first two books were really, really interesting. I'm now listening to this one. So these are basically 21 things for the 21st century. This one is already written, I believe in 2018. So a few things, yes, a few things are already kind of happening. So I'm glad I'm finally reading it because if I waited even longer, much more things would have been different already, maybe. This is still about when there were presidents five or six years ago that are not president anymore, you know? So in some aspects, it's a little bit dated already, but it's still super, super relevant. And I'm actually listening to this one on BookBeat and this part of the video is not sponsored. However, I've recently found out about BookBeat, which is a Dutch audiobook app where you also have lots of English 
um, audiobooks and ebooks and I'm just loving the app so much so if you're from the Netherlands if you would like to check out the app I do have an affiliate link in my description which would help me out so much and you can just try it out for 60 days instead of 30 and you can just cancel anytime see if you like it what I love about this app is that the app itself works so well because often with audiobook apps it glitches a lot or it takes a long time for the audiobook to load and stuff and this app is so quick so I'm really enjoying using BookBeat, so I will have a link in my description. But it's Sunday, I'm going to have a very cozy day. This afternoon though, like this evening, I'm going to a candlelight concert with film music from the Studio Ghibli films and I'm so excited. It was a gift from my boyfriend for Christmas and it's on the SS Rotterdam, which is a ship here in Rotterdam. It's going to be dark, it's going to be magical. I am so excited. So I will try to film a few clips here and there of my day and just my reading. And yeah, I'll keep you updated. I really hope you're going to enjoy this vlog. I'm going to try to make it very cozy. And I'm just really excited for the next few days because I'm really busy preparing for a shop update on my website because I illustrate products, I design products like sticker sheets and postcards and those type of things, bookmarks obviously, and I'm planning a big shop update this Sunday on the 28th of January. So I will tell you more about that on my Instagram and like on the YouTube community page, but I'm really excited about all the new products. There will be a mouse mat, which is the first time I've ever released a mouse mat, new bookmarks, new postcards, new sticker sheets. So keep an eye out for that. I'm super, super excited. But this intro is very long. I'm now going to do some more reading, I think, from Stona, and I will see you soon. It's Monday morning right now. It is 12, like nearly noon, and I have done so much work this morning. I've worked so much on my next web shop update with new products, and I plan on doing everything tomorrow, because later today I'm going to work in the Swan Market store, which is a concept store where I sell my products, but I was up super early and I just felt mega productive. So I filmed videos for the shop update. I took all the photos. I just, it feels very good because I just did so much. So, super productive morning. I have also listened to 45% of Yuval Noah Harari's 21 Lessons for the 21st Century, which is super interesting. I'm loving it. And I have read around 10% of Arcadia. And I believe I'm about 40 pages in, in Stoner. So I'm reading many different books at the moment, but I'm going to be bringing Arcadia with me to the store because it's on my Kindle, so I can just easily whip it out and read on my Kindle, like on the train. And you know, whilst going there. So yeah, just a lovely, good start of the week. Also the concert yesterday was amazing. The venue was perfect. First of all, the SS Rotterdam is just such a cool and impressive ship. And the fact that it's there kind of forever, you can even sleep on there, but actually slept on there once because it's a hotel now. Um, it's not on, like it's on sea, but it doesn't, it's not moving anymore. But it's a hotel, they have like all these venues and the concert was so beautiful. So that was a perfect Christmas gift and it was just so lovely. So we had a drink afterwards and just cycled back through town when all the lights were on and the bridge and stuff, it just looks so pretty. So yeah, 
it was a lovely weekend and now I'm very excited for this week and also for just reading and my shop update later this week. Right now I need to pack my bags and go over to the store in Delft because I work there a couple of hours every month. So let's go and let's restock the store with the new products that are coming. Happy Wednesday. I've got a few reading updates for you because this morning I finished listening to 21 lessons for the 21st century and I thought it was super interesting and absolutely brilliant. It was I think my least favorite of the three of the books and I felt like sometimes he was repeating himself a bit with certain things which made the book quite long. Nevertheless it was still super interesting and definitely very relevant and quite scary at times as well. Because in 2018, when he wrote the book, or like 2017, he was talking about certain things that he was expecting not to happen again because people cannot be so stupid to do certain things. Whereas right now, these things are happening in the world. So that was definitely a bit scary, but the book was really, really good. I decided to give it like four, maybe 4.25 out of five stars and still just a brilliant series that I highly recommend everyone to read because it's super relevant. It's about all of us homo sapiens, so highly recommend that one. When it comes to Arcadia, I am 12% of the way through. <laughs> I'm on chapter eight. Is this taking, oops, I'm sorry. It's taking me a while to read it because I haven't really read that much this week because I was just really busy preparing for my shop update and I'm in a very big kind of work flow and not really in a reading flow, but that's okay. And Stoner, I'm on page 45. <laughs> but what I'm going to do now before I end this vlog is I'm just going to sit there, read my book, read Stoner, and just see how far I can get and kind of do a little reading sprint with myself because it's like a quarter past four right now. I've basically done all the work I wanted to do today. So I think I'm just going to, as I said, do a little reading sprint and just try to read a bit more today before my evening begins. And I'm going to do my weekly salsa lesson because I've been doing a salsa course, which is so much fun. So I just want to get some reading done before then. So I thought I would just end this vlog here and with finishing 21 lessons for the 21st century, I now have only got 82 books left on my physical TBR. So I don't know how I've managed to read 10 books. 10 books this January. Most of them were audiobooks, so of course that helps a lot, but still, that's amazing. So my TBR is shrinking and it feels really good, so I'm excited for the rest of this year. This vlog was kind of a different style, like editing and filming wise. Let me know if you enjoyed this. I really, really enjoyed making it a little bit more cinematic, or at least trying to make it a bit more cinematic. So I hope you enjoyed that too. And just very cozy. So let me know in the comments if you would like to see more of these type of vlogs and these type of thumbnail styles, just trying out something new. And yeah, I just really hope you like this video. And if you want to comment something, but you don't know what to comment, comment a candle emoji because of course I went to the candlelight concert. Thank you again so much for watching. I really hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.